Manchester United versus Manchester City. Manchester United come in at sixth place. Manchester City come at seventh. But they do have Manchester. Oh, I think they both have games at hand. So they could go up in the table. Namely, Manchester City, I think they have one more game. Um, let me check real quick. But I do have Manchester City going to Old Trafford and winning 3-1. Manchester United just uh, came back from getting kicked out of Champions League. They got kicked out of Champions League in crazy fashion. They played Red Bull Leipzig in the middle of the week, and they got down 3-0, and they made a furious comeback, 3-2, but this time they couldn't pull it off, lose 3-2 to Red Bull, crash out of Champions League. They're going back to Europa one more time. And I think uh, United has kind of lost their way because uh, if they were actually a big, a big, big club, the club they claim to be, a world-renowned club, um, they're valued as probably the biggest club in the world. If if you lose in Champions League, if you lose in the group stages, if you don't make it to the uh, knockout stages, um, you know, changes have to come and coaches have to be held responsible. And I can understand if you're maybe top of the table or if you're in a Champions League spot, but Manchester United come in at sixth. Um, I know they've had some comeback wins, but if you're sixth in the in the Premier League, and you're out of Champions League in the group stage, uh, I don't think that bodes well for you, the coach. And I've been a big proponent of getting rid of Ole, and I still am. I think he got his tactics all wrong against Red Bull. He put like five defensive players. He put three center backs, two wing backs, and two um, defending midfielders against Red Bull. Red Bull, by no means, is a bad team. Respect for Red Bull. They played great. Angelino had a great game. He had a great goal. Great cross. Shout out to Angelino. MLS. He played in MLS in New York for a little bit. So shout out to Angelino. But if you're Manchester United, you're the most expensive club in the world. You're, you're valued at the highest. You're Manchester United. You're a legend. You're you're people think of the Premier League. People think of Manchester United. You should be one of the main. You should be a main character in the Champions League. You should be, you know, fighting to the end every single time. I don't care if they're slump. I don't care if they've been struggling in this last few years. You've been spending money. You're 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 a top dog. You should be a top dog, and I just don't like the fact that they went into that game with five defensive players. It looked like they were just playing for the tie, or like we're not gonna lose. So instead of going in there, going for the win, and just top of the table, leave no questions. Don't leave it up to anybody. Not don't sit back and defend. And in the end, it cost them. And keep playing the hair cost him too. He had a howler of mistake in the third in the third goal. He looked timid. One thing you can't be as a goalkeeper is be afraid. You can't be afraid as a goalkeeper. That's probably the position in the field that requires the most confidence, requires the most um um what's it called? Strength, requires the most being the most headstrong, being confident. That's the position that you need to be the most headstrong. And you can tell that David DeHell came out timid, he came out scared. He was undecisive, and it cost Manchester United that third goal. And they did make, they did score two late goals. So if David De Gea doesn't let that goal go in, then maybe we're talking differently about them. They go through to the group stage, and Ole has more security, even though the executives have said that they're backing him, that they believe in him. But I think he has to go to Henderson if they have a chance to play against City. I think that David De Gea has had his mistakes over the last few years. He, they're very well publicized. Everyone's talked about them. Every time he has a mistake, Twitter blows up. Everyone, I don't have to fill in anybody on the mistakes he's had. I feel like you've caught one of them, one of these howlers that he's made. And I think it's time to move on to Henderson. And as far as City, they started off slow, but they've turned it around the last few weeks after losing to Manchester City, after losing to, I mean, Tottenham, um, that 2-0 loss to Mourinho. They've had five straight clean sheets. So that defense is starting to get its mojo that offense is starting to score again. They beat 3-0 Mercedes. Then they beat they won 2-0 at Fulham, or they beat Fulham 2-0. And then they beat Burnley 5-0 on their last two games in the Premier League. So they're starting to find their boots. They're starting to find their goals. Um, and it was great to see uh, Aguero score coming back in Champions League. He scores in the middle of the week. So um, Guardiola said he's not going to start against Manchester United, but it's good to see him back. Um, if, if Manchester City want to make a real title threat this second half of the season, this last two thirds of the season, they're going to definitely need Aguero. And by that, I just have uh, City being too much. Being too, There's too much firepower in City. Um, 
for them to lose to Manchester United. I still don't trust their defense. I don't trust De Gea in the current form he's in. So I have Manchester City beating Manchester United 3-1. And Oli's job is going to come into the question at the end. Again, I just think you can't keep coming back every single time. I know he has comeback wins against Everton, Southampton, and West Ham. But that's not something that you could build on. That's not something that you could consistently do. And their record at home has been atrocious. Their record away has been great. I think that just shows just the fluctuation week in and week out of their performance. Not even just week to week. Have to have uh, that United team is just super inconsistent. That's a, that's the one thing you could you could say about Oli's United. They're inconsistent. They're not consistent. They have a lot of highs and they have a lot of lows. And those highs are high and those lows are low. And you're in for a roller coaster. If United wants to stay in this roller coaster that they're in, keep Oli. It's gonna get all the media. It's gonna get all the media headlines. People are gonna talk about United. It, it definitely they're definitely getting headlines. Oli, like I said, roller coaster. As a United coach, highs are high, lows are lows. I think United should get someone that's consistent and brings back United to where they're supposed to be because United is a huge team and they should be more well-respected. So I'm going on a rant, but Manchester City 3, United 1 is my prediction.